The Indian Air Force chief will soon arrive on a visit to Greece, which could be a game changer for both the countries. Greek military have gathered important information about Turkish drones that regularly fly over the Greek islands, and Greece will share the radar signature and flight characteristics of the Turkish TB2 drones to India, that has also been supplied to Pakistan, and in return, Greece Air Force will conduct joint exercises with the Indian Air Force, so that Greece can test its Rafale and F-16 against the Indian operated S-400 system, which is also operated by its rival Turkey. Greece is also keen to procure the air launch variant of the Brahmos NG from India, that will be fully compatible on its Rafale aircraft. The RDO's Defence Research Development Establishment has released a tender for the development supply integration and testing of a new nuclear biological and chemical filtration system for the AMCA fighter jet, and the development of this NBC filtration system will be completed in 12 months. The NBC filtration system will be installed on board the aircraft, and will be used in the purification of contaminated air, by filtering out the NBC contaminants. Boeing held a media briefing in New Delhi yesterday, during which it has committed to explore a potential $3.6 billion economic impact in the Indian defense industry over the next 10 years, if the F-A-18 Super Hornet Block 3 is selected by the Indian Navy. Boeing has announced, that the F-A-18 Block 3 has surpassed the required capabilities sought by the Indian Navy, and it will provide the 160 km range AIM-120 D air-to-air missile and AIM-9X close combat air-to-air missile, and is also open to integrate Indian origin air-to-air -air and anti-ship missiles. Boeing has said, that if an intergovernmental agreement for 27 F-A-18 is signed, Boeing will fast-track the deliveries for India, which typically takes 36 months for other countries. In a briefing today, the Vice Chief of Indian Navy has said, that India has created an ecosystem to build indigenous aircraft carriers, and the Navy is ready to build another aircraft carrier. He also said, that INS Vikrant will set sail immediately after commissioning on 2 September from Kochi, and fixed-wing flying trials will start by November 2022. He also stated, that the TED BF will be the final aircraft to be flying from INS Vikrant. Dynamatic Technologies had been awarded a contract for manufacturing assemblies for Boeing's newest F-15EX fighter jet in 2021, and now Dynamatic Technologies has started delivery of the aerostructure assembly from their manufacturing facility in Bangalore. If selected under the 114 MRFA program, Boeing will be manufacturing the F-15EX in India under transfer of technology, for which it will tie up with many Indian-based companies for the supply of key components and equipment. The Indian Air Force has procured 6,000 indigenously manufactured multi-spectral camouflage nets from an Indian company Intamint Poly Quarters Limited. The 6,000th net was received on 23rd August, and these nets will provide enhanced camouflage for Air Force installations. Another private sector firm of Antel Limited, has received a 11.28 crore rupees order from the Indian Navy, for the supply of SATCOM equipment. The Chief of the South African Army met with the Indian Army Chief in New Delhi, and both sides reviewed their bilateral and defence relations. He also interacted with the Joint Secretary of Naval Systems Wing of India's Department of Defence Production, and discussed the capabilities of Indian defence industries. The Society of Indian Defence Manufacturers also presented the capability of Indian industry to the visiting chief.